Nekoburo. I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Nekoburo. A review copy of this game is provided free of charge by the publisher. This is a little columns like game by uh, Neko Entertainment. Surprisingly, it has a fully voice acted in Japanese story. We'll go ahead and kind of skip the story here and just. The Parker. Every time I record. The story is silly and cute, and that's all it's meant to be. So. Unfortunately, I don't think I can mute just the voice and like. I was hoping for like visual novel like um, controls where I can be like show all the text instantly. Even when I'm listening to the voice, I prefer to have all of the text instantly. Parker, don't block the microphone. So the story is that the long-haired monster here gives the box cat food, and the cat, even outside of the box, is still square. <laughs> It, the funny thing is, this is apparently an actual fashion in Japan to... I think it's Japan anyway. They would, um... Like, they shave dogs into cubes and stuff. <laughs> look how cute. Look how cute, Parker. Look. Look. The main selling point of this game is that it's just freaking adorable. Um, it plays on PS Vita and PlayStation TV. I want to say there's a mobile version too, but I'm not sure of the. I'm not sure about that. It may just be a Japanese in Japan, or um, I'll look at that and I'll put I'll put it in the description if there's any non Vita versions as well. Um, but you don't have to control it with um, touchscreen, hence it being playable on uh, PS TV. So the story is that we're this cat, or we're. I, I don't know who we are. We're just sort of, you know, the player. But this cat tries to get his friends via the TV. You can touch furniture in the room, save, delete. Um, catalogs and toys serve as like secondary trophies. Like the game does have trophies, of course. But you can also unlock stuff like, you know, clear certain stages, certain quests, and then you'll, uh, get your furniture and be able to decorate. We can't decorate yet, though. We can pet the cat, drive the cat around, put the cat over here. I don't think we start with any toys. No, you don't. Um, yeah, some of the toys I've already gotten. <coughs> you can... the feather thingy, the cats will just chase the feather. The TV, the cats will watch the TV, and then you can shoot them with little sticker dart things for some reason. Go away. All right. And you can watch the story at any time on the TV and see any of the CG scenes. Oh yeah, and you get little information about the cats. <laughs> Dang it, cats. The game is just ridiculously cute. Don't attack that! No. Parker is not a square cat, so he does not star in this game. Well, oh yeah, the options are pretty limited. Um, you can't even, like... What I was wanting in the options was an option to show all the text at once. It's like, I don't mind, I don't want to skip the voice acting, but the only way to show all the text at once is to skip it, which is kind of annoying. There is an auto advance at least, which is nice. So yeah, it's columns, and there are these power-ups. You can, you can hold two power-ups, that you earn by, you know, just by skidding score. Noise Cat is oddly creepy, isn't it? There's some minor English in the... Well, in the English. Uh, it doesn't really... shouldn't really impair your ability to understand the game, though. So, the way the game works is there's quests, and, like, here we just need to clear three of each cat. So we just cleared the 
the um, yellow one having some issues with colors here. Now we need to clear the other colors. Yeah. Now we just need red. Yeah. And all of the cats have different voices. All Japanese, of course. And everything is just unapologetically adorable, including the music. That was completely useless, but we just did a vertical clear. And we can, you know, do a... Oops. Not what I wanted to do. But yeah, the different challenges are the way the game keeps everything fresh. Like, certain levels, the cats will drop faster, or there's more different colors of cats, or you have unusual objectives. Like, sometimes you need to make chains instead of just clearing them. Sometimes you need to use a certain number of certain power-ups. It keeps everything pretty fresh. The game isn't super long. I've... I've already yeah. played it. I played like half of it, and it took me about an hour and a half to get through half of the stages. The last ones are probably a little longer, and yeah. that's not completing everything, but I would say you can probably expect to spend definitely less than probably 10 hours, unless you're like super addicted to the... There's a survival mode that's yeah. basically, you know, endless, and you can just go for score in that, but... Uh, yeah. For the main game, there's a limited number of quests, and you, um... If you really like the game, you can beat the specific challenges to unlock all of the furniture. And, of course, try to get the double S rank. For some reason, SS rank is the max rank. Not S rank, not triple S, just two S. And so when you have these power-up cats, Anytime the power-up cat is cleared, it erases all of the, you know, it, it erases its area of effect. So you want to strategically yeah. pos position those. The game, of course, starts off very easy, as you might expect almost any game to do. Uh, it does get a fair bit harder. I actually lost a few levels later on, but nothing super hard yet, but I'm still two stages, or worlds, you might say, from beating the game. The music changes once per stage, so there is more music than this, but you probably won't be hearing it in this video. And the music's all pretty good. Uh, the game is 8 bucks on PSN. I think it's quite worth the asking price. It's a fun little game with tons of charm. Oh, and another thing that varies a lot is the starting positions of all of the stuff. Uh, sometimes you can trigger big chain reactions. Not so much with this one. They're usually set up either to help or to hinder. Like, they're not just random. For these first areas, you don't even really need to check the objective, you can just clear them. You know, by just playing columns, but generally there is an objective that you can focus on and try to get. Um, one interesting thing, the, the ranking seems to actually be based on... It actually seems to be based on um, your score, not your time. Because, like, there was a chain one where you have to get three chains, and I cleared it in, like, three seconds, and I got a B. So, just clearing quickly isn't necessarily the way to get your S rank. You want to get good score, but you have limited time. Here's one of the ones where the... everything's sped up. And even after it touches, you can, uh, switch around the cats for a couple seconds. It's like, uh, I think some Tetris games do that. Uh, one of the challenges to get furniture in the game is you have to clear this level without switching the cats ever. Which is not very hard, but it's a cute little challenge. I'm not actually using my, um... 
what are they called? The power-ups very often. I don't- you don't really need them here, but they're very useful later on. There's also a survival mode that you unlock survival mode, so we probably won't be seeing it while we're playing here. But uh, in survival mode, it's basically what you expect. The game, you know, just continues on endlessly and it occasionally throws blocks and stuff at you and I'm not sure what I was thinking there. Parker, don't attack Mike. If I suddenly go silence because Parker has decided to cut my microphone's cord. Oh wow, we need to clear tons more of the, uh, the blue dudes. You can speed up placement, but you can't drop instantly, best I can tell. I've been spoiled by that in a few Tetris games. I rather like it. Ugh. I never think to use the uh, vertical clear very well. It's theoretically very useful for, you know, if you get trapped or something, but in practice I never remember to use it properly, so it just gets wasted. I'm pretty bad at thinking tactically about the... Um... Come on, give me some blue cats already. About using the power-ups. Come on, blue cats. There we are. Oops. Crap. Alright, one more. Yes, yes, come on. There we go. You only seem to die if you block the very starting point. I'll show you in a second here. It's like pretty much any dro block dropping puzzle in that sense. You can pile up any of the corners, but not, you know, this starting lane, I think. Yeah. Stop winning. I wanna die. No, stop it! Oh, this is a short level. <laughs> I was trying to lose game. Oh, I think that was the chain one. Wait, no, what, what, what was that? I don't know what I was even... Oh! Right, and some of them, you have to clear them in a certain order, so in that level, what I had to do was clear three greens, three reds, and three blues. And you can't, like, clear three blues first. So that's kind of interesting that I kind of did it on accident while trying to die. Hmm. And often when you need to use the power-up things, it'll be in a level designed where, you know, it's advantageous to spam that particular power-up. So like in this one, we really have no space. So what we want to be doing... is using our thingy. Yeah. And that'll yeah. work. Yeah, that's to clear out some of the refuse here. Aw, yeah. oh, crap. I just wasted a thing. Yeah. One somewhat frustrating thing is forgetting yeah. to use your power-up. I have problems with. And then you get the next level of power up, which is generally better, but oh crap. I didn't even have a chance to claim that one. So the power ups, one is a horizontal clear, one is a three by three, one's a vertical, which we've seen, and the melon clears every cat of the color that the that you cleared. And the rainbow just clears the entire board, which is pretty cool. As you might expect, you won't get to see the rainbow one too often. 
It's extremely useful in the survival mode, except waiting to get it can actually get you killed pretty easy, so... I don't like to depend on it. I wasn't very good at survival mode. I got like half of the way to the trophy, so I guess that means I'm definitely not good enough to get the trophy yet. But, uh, that was only on my first serious attempt, so... I'm not sure if it has a leaderboards or... Yeah. Yeah. Oh right, this is the chain one. I'm terrible at chains with the in these games. Um, so I'm gonna... Yeah. What am I gonna do? Ah, uh, crap, that's... I'm terrible at planning ahead, so these give me problems. I'm sorry. There we are! That was the one I cleared in like three seconds the first time, just completely on accident. And every ten levels, you end up at the next world, and uh, you get a little cutscene, so... Yeah. We're just up after we see our next cutscene here. Yeah. Oh, and if you're playing on Vita, you can rub the screen and the cats, like, jump up. It's all cosmetic. You also get to play with the cats on the touchscreen on Vita. I'm not playing on my Vita because I don't have a way to capture it, so this will do for now. All of the menus can be operated with the touchscreen, but not the actual gameplay. I don't think you would want to play it with touchscreen controls anyway. You've got perfectly fine controls on the Vita itself. Also, I'm pretty bad at using it properly, but you can actually do a diagonal row. Not bad. Alright. Aw, oh, we could have used... well, we couldn't because we won, but we got a rainbow cube for the first time. You don't get to see that, though. Nope. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, on maps like this, it's very important to use your little power-ups well. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, I could've used that if I moved it over to the right. Oh well. Never said I was good at puzzles, guys. I'm sorry. Alright, green cats are done soon. Green cat's done. Don't need you. Don't need you. Okay. Give me some yellow. There we- Aw, oh, crap! There we are. Oh, we missed our chance to use the melon, too. Parker's glaring at the screen with intent. What's up, Parker? You gonna beat up those with cats? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. So the cats are from space? I mean, cats are from space. That's all there is to it. That awkward moment when a cat invades your home. I like to imagine this is just what cats normally think. This is just a completely normal cat thing. Yeah. 
So the story is they're trying to transfer all of the cats there because their owner gives them food and stuff. Doesn't that remind you of someone, Parker? Yeah. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. Alright, let's view the comic and then we'll call it quits. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, we can play with the toy. Ah, we got this one. Use the O. Poor cat. Alright, let's view that comic. Comic. <laughs> if you didn't notice, he basically turns into a cactus when he's excited. Which is pretty much the world's worst superpower. Let's do that. The English isn't the best, but you'll figure it out. The, um... The blue cat, we haven't met yet, but she's like ice cat, apparently. But yeah, this is Nekoburo Cat's Block. It is on PlayStation Network for the Vita and the PSTV. There'll be a link in the description, as always. What do you think of that, Parker? Hmm. He wants belly rubs. I better give Parker some belly rubs.